Hello and welcome to Nikolai's genetics lessons and today's question is Given the following pedigree, what is the coefficient of inbreeding of the individual for one? So we are talking about this individual for one. First of all, we have to find a loop here and if you think that loop is here, it is not quite so. The loop is here, including this person for one. And inbreeding means that person will get two alleles, which are going to be identical by descent from both his father side and mother side. Now we have to find most recent common ancestor. And would this person be a common ancestor for this person, both from uh, father side and mother side? No, only from the father side. What about this person here, grandmother? And as you see, grandmother can pass her alleles only through mother side. But grandfather is common, most recent common ancestor for this person. Let's assume that this is not going to be a human family, but let's say this is animals which we breed. Because uh, in humans such situation is really unusual. But in breeding and selection of animals, we can use such variants. So this is going to be most recent common ancestor. Let's imagine that for certain gene, let's say gene A in a gene pool in this population, numerous alleles exist. For example, it can be allele A1 and A2. So this is just a version of the same gene but maybe just a little bit slightly different. Even if it's going to be one nucleotide difference, we can say that this is going to be allele. And let's say that this person here in the middle, grandfather has also two different alleles, allele A3 and A4. And grandmother on the mother side would have also different alleles, A five and a six. So as you see, all these people for the gene A has all different alleles, which can be found in a gene pool in this population. Now let's say, can this person for one can inherit two A alleles? No, because from the grandmother, he can inherit through his father only A one or A to allele, just one variant. Now let's find if for one can inherit two identical alleles from his grandmother here. For example, two A5 alleles. No, he cannot because his mother can inherit from her mother only A5 or A6 allele. So there is no way that this person would inherit two A5 alleles or two A6 alleles. But from his grandfather, this person may inherit two identical alleles, which we call identical by descent. For example, he may inherit two A3 alleles. So his genotype would be A3, A3. For example, his father may inherit this A3 allele and then can pass to his daughter. And also from the mother side, mother can inherit this A3 allele and also can pass to this daughter, so this daughter can be a 3, a 3 genotype. But individual for one also may inherit from grandfather to A4 alleles, and her genotype would be A4, A4. For example, her father may inherit this allele from his father and may pass this allele to his daughter. Also, mother may inherit from her father this allele A4 and can pass to her daughter. In this case, her daughter would be of this genotype. What is the probability of having this genotype for this person? Take a look. A3 allele have 50% chances to be passed to a child, which is male child, or it can be A4. So 50% chances here, and this individual also have 50% chances to pass it to his daughter. So every pass means 50% or one half here, one half here, 
one half here and one half here. So we can say that probability of this genotype would be one half times one half times one half and times one half. So this is going to be one quarter, one eighth, one sixteenth. So one sixteenth. Let's put this number here. And the same is true for the A4 allele. One half here, one half here, one half here, and one half here. So we also may say that this is going to be one half in a power of four, which is the same what we have here. Just short notation, and it's going to be also one sixteenth. Now we have to add these two probabilities to be to have two identical alleles by descent. So one sixteenth plus one sixteenth, and we are going to get two over sixteen, two over sixteen, or one over eight. So as you see, the correct answer is answer C. Inbreeding coefficient of this person would be one eighth. That means that one eighth of all his genes or loci would have two identical alleles, which are going to be identical by descent. Now I want you to show shortcut method how to solve this problem just a little bit faster. Instead of counting all passes twice, all we have to do just have to find how many nodes we have here and every person here would be considered a node. So one, two, three, excluding the person for whom we are doing this calculation. And again, this is going to be one half times itself three times or one half in the power of three, which is going to be one eighth. As you see, this method is a little bit faster. And this is all for today. Subscribe and see you in the next video. Goodbye.